went on to coach our neighboring school district, Silver Creek High School. And tonight with us, standing with us in this community, are some of his former track mates, track team members, and the kids who coached. That makes this very fitting because although this is on our campus, the Clarksville Community Schools, we recognize the life and accomplishments of Gerald Kingery. I'd like to read you a letter that was sent to our board in November. It's less respect and solemnity that I write this recommendation. On November 1, 2018, a beloved member of our Clarkson School Students was called home by his career. Gerald Henry served students in this community in a fashion and the magnitude of his impact was known by some, but was largely unpublished or something about which was not fully known. He worked quietly to help touch and coach and teach the lives of the students to be their best. His untimely death is a loss that has been felt throughout the community area and beyond. It has brought about testimony after testimony of how he was a champion for students to excel academically and athletically. He modeled what being a good citizen is and how to hold oneself accountable for one's actions. More importantly, he showed countless students how to believe in themselves and that they did not have to fear pushing themselves to strive for greatness. His time with our students from 1984 to 2010 allowed him to touch thousands of lives through teaching and coaching. For many, he was a father they did not know or have. He provided stability and counsel because they had no one but him as someone in whom they could confide. Board Policy 7250 of Clarksville Community School Corporation provides that the board may choose to commemorate the facility, quote, for those individuals who have made a significant contribution to the enhancement of education generally, or the corporation in particular, or to the well-being of the corporation, community, state, or nation, end quote. I am blessed to say I personally knew and worked with Mr. Kingery. I witnessed his incredible capacity to work with students and continually reap positive outcomes from them. It is not dramatic to say his actions saved many students from failing to become productive citizens they are today. I believe his actions exemplify the intent put forth in Board Policy 7250. Mr. Kingery's contributions have enhanced the education for all of the CCSE students he had and resulted in the enhancement of the well-being of the corporation community and, therefore, the state and the nation. I recommend the Board of Trustees designates the name Daryl Kingery Track and Field to the CCSC Track and Field Facility. I'm happy to say to you that that recommendation was made on November the 5th, and the following week, at the following board meeting, the board passed the resolution to allow the name of this facility, Daryl Kingery Track and Field. Tonight, we will unveil the sign that will hang on this press box to commemorate that. We invite his family, and we invite Grace and Max to come and join us as we unveil, and also Amanda and some of the other folks from the past track teams and cross country teams to join us as well.
um, I want you to be as happy as you have our children. These are our three children. This is Kyle, Adam, and Kelly. And I'm telling you that you're the best of them. Thank you for all your dad. Thank you for all your dad. Thank you for loving me.
all boys 100 meter dash. All 100 meter dash participants, please report to the 100 meter dash starting line.
should stay in.
Okay, this is third and final call for the boys 300 meter hurdles. Third and final call for the boys 300 meter hurdles. First call for the girls sprint medley relay.
takes first place. This is third and final call for the girls' RC. 
varsity 400 meter relay. Third and final call, girls varsity 400 meter relay. Second call, boys varsity 400 meter relay.
Ladies Throwers Relay. Third place was Henryville. Second place was North Harrison. And first place with a time of one minute and three seconds was South Central.
Oils mild. Silver Creek took third. Providence took second. And Henryville took first place with a combined time of 9.22. Led by Jake Ewell with a time of 4 minutes 37 seconds.
Girls varsity, 4x4 relay, third and final call. Boys varsity, 1600 meter relay, this is the second call for you.
Creek. And first place with a grand total of 103 points, New Albany. Yeah. Nice. Come on, girls. Uh, Silver Creek with a total of 174 points. And in first place with a combined total between the boys and girls teams of 192 points, Providence. 